Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Facts with Boom. I'm your host Boom the Railway Cat and today's facts are for East Midlands Parkway and Ratcliffe on Saw Power Station. So let's begin. East Midlands Parkway Station is located north of Ratcliffe on Saw on the Midland Main Line. It has four platforms. It's the closest station to East Midlands Airport, but it's still four miles, 6.4 kilometres away, and there is no public transport link between them. Since the station opened, there were two separate bus services between the station and the airport, but both were since withdrawn. The station is in southwest Nottinghamshire, and it's less than a mile away from both Leicestershire and Derbyshire, and you're only one click away from Subscribeshire. So please subscribe, it's free, and it really helps me, so many thanks. Anyway, the three-letter code is EMD. By 2019, the Midland Main Line was meant to be electrified, but plans for electrification were scrapped in 2017, so the station is still served by diesel trains only. However, it's one of the greenest stations in the UK. Quite ironic since it's only served by diesel trains and it's right next to a massive coal power station. But it uses a ground source heating system that was built using materials from local suppliers. What it does is it heats the station building using heat from the ground. On the 26th of January 2009, the station was opened. It's a three minute drive from the M1 motorway and in 2019 2020 the station was used by 0.343 million people. That's only down by about 20,000 people compared to the previous year. In case you haven't noticed yet, the train station is right next to a power station. That's Ratcliffe on Saw Power Station. Ratcliffe on Saw Power Station is a coal powered power station in Ratcliffe on Saw in Nottinghamshire, England. It has a capacity of 2,000 megawatts. It has has eight cooling towers and a 199 meter, 653 foot tall chimney. It has four coal power boilers and each one drives a 500 megawatt generator. The power station can generate enough power to power over two million homes. And the power station is supplied with coal and other materials by rail via a branch off the Midland Main Line. Thank you very much for listening to this episode of Facts with Boom and remember to stay alert. Please subscribe too. Thanks.